Welcome! This is Shadow Embers coming in hot, and I'm going to help you with the fundamentals of Rumble Fighter. Let's get into it. Are you ready to get back into the basics? Now that you know how to defend, dodge, and counter enemy attacks, you need to learn how to recover from their attacks if you are unable to and were knocked down to the ground. The three main recovery methods are getting up, recovery rolling, and recovery kicking. Rolling. Before we talk about the ways you can recover from being knocked down to the ground, you need to know that you are able to roll around in a single cardinal direction in one full roll. This means you can't roll diagonally. Once you finish rolling, you have a chance to do any of the three recovery methods. Standing up. One of the simplest ways to recover from being on the ground is simply standing up. Albeit one of the simplest ways to recover, it is also one of the most punishable ways as you are completely vulnerable to anyone's attacks, so you might want to attempt either of the other methods over this one. Recovery Leap Rolling This recovery method seems to be one of the least used ways to recover, at least in my opinion. By pressing the punch key, you can make a leaping roll which can hurt people greatly with the weight of your body diving towards them. With this recovery method, you can leap roll in the direction you're facing or in the diagonal directions that is similar to the direction you're facing. Just as a forewarning though, if they don't block or get hit by the attack, you are just as vulnerable as if you were to just stand up. Recovery Kicking this method of recovery is definitely the most used for myself. When you press the kick key, you get up as well as sweeping the leg across in front of you or in either diagonal direction closest. This kick can also hit people directly behind you which is why it's the most useful to me. But as another forewarning, if they don't get hit by the attack, you'll likely be punished in return. Scroll Recovery This type of recovery is so far reserved to only one scroll that actually has a scroll recovery, which replaces one of the normal recovery options for players. That scroll in question is Blood Dragon, which is a rare only obtainable through a few select boxes. When downed and you have the Blood Dragon scroll equipped, you can press the punch button and instead of performing a recovery leap roll, you press your hands to the ground and push your body upwards, planting your feet under your opponent's jaw, launching them up into the air, ready to be juggled. Confusing Recovery When you are confused, you move in the opposite direction that you attempt to go towards. That being said, you can use this to your advantage when recovering whilst confused. Usually if someone knocks you down whether you're confused or not, the enemy tends to stay behind you but far enough so you can't hit them with a recovery kick. But when you're confused, not only do you move in the opposite direction you wish to go, but using a diagonal recovery leap roll or diagonal recovery kick, you will attack both in the opposite diagonal direction and attacking behind you rather than in front of you due to the confusion. It surprises people no matter how many times you do it. They end up being the one confused because they aren't sure how you just did that. Here I will show you each of the directions that you will face with each directional button press both between recovery kicks and recovery rolls when confused. So I learned that you can only do the directions that would be to the left or right of the direction you're facing. So if you're facing upwards or downwards, it'd be the left or right arrow keys to do a confusing recovery. Facing left or right, it'd be the up or down arrows. Facing down left or upright, it'd be the up and left arrows or the down and right arrows. And facing up left or down right, it'd be the down and left arrows or the up and right arrows. Also, as a note, when you press in the direction that'd be to the left or right of your character's direction they're facing, they will rotate three directions in the opposite direction of the direction you essentially pressed in their eyes. So, for example, if you press the right arrow when facing downwards, you will attack towards the up left direction. Namu Recovery There is a secret recovery method for the ones who are skilled enough to become a guardian. Once you become a guardian, you can use what is called a Namu and slide a few feet in a direction just as you would recovery roll. 
This is one of the least punishable due to not needing a standing up animation done. To perform the Namu, you would press your first Exo Special Attack button, notably by default, B. Saving Recovery This method of recovery is lesser known even in comparison to the Namu recovery as it is only available to those who have went through the rebirth process and chosen the path of the Saber. To activate this ability after rebirthing the Saber, once your body hits the ground after being knocked down, you must press the same buttons to grab at the same time which is the guard and punch keys, notably Z for guard and X for punch. Well now that you know how to recover from attacks, you can use each way to recover to the best of their capabilities. Go out and make me proud, my young rumble fighters. Now I will show you all of the fundamentals of rumble fighter I've taught you up till now. Let's see if we can survive until the end. Time to put on a show! Action. We hardly knew ye. Cameras rolling, action! action. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
We hardly knew ye. Nobody blink! Action! Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button on your screen. And if you want to be kept up to date when I release a new video, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't ever fall behind on new tips and tricks about Rumble Fighter. Anyways, this is Shadow Embers, burning out. See you guys later and win that next battle.